for today's cup of coffee. Cats in space. Cats on Mars. Cats on Mars, is that what it was? I can't, I can never remember the name of it. I can't remember the artist's name, but I can remember the title of that one track. It was from an anime. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. And it's like I had this whole thing and had worked on, you know, as far as what we were going to discuss. And it was this, I can tell you it's on Netflix. You can go and there's a four-part docu-series that's about aliens, about encounters. And then it's I called s- Encounters. Mm-hmm. And I- we're recording this on the full moon and it, I'm, I'm affected. And I started watching French Lady So a Leaf Thing. So random. And, sh- and she... I guess confused mama no it didn't confuse me it's like and i will say that people who have a french accent when they speak english and stuff it that is a beautiful accent Mm -hmm. there's other languages but french is just there there's something about that to hear them speak english Mm -hmm. i don't know I, i do like the british accent so I, there's so many wonderful accents out there. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this is just random. French accents are nice. Russian accents uh-huh. I really like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just just cool stuff. Yeah. We have had random... God, it's been so random all day. I mean, it has been typical full moon day. Oh! And it was on the 28th because it's like I always... It, Check your calendar. I actually thought that it was going to occur tomorrow. And then I heard other people saying that it was yesterday. And so I looked on my little weather app, which has moon phase. And they're like, oh, it's today. And I'm like, well, shit, that might, that, yeah, that explains lots of things. Yeah, it does. People that we encountered today, they're like, hmm, what's going on? They have learned to come to me to ask, hmm, what's the planetary alignments? <laughs> yes. Yes. We got loud motorcycles around We do have loud motorcycles. And it it started out with finding the missing bra. Yeah, she found it. I she did. She found it. <laughs> and I remember putting it in the laundry bag. Kid had said that he had... Because one of the things that I absolutely hate is buying bras i always have don't know why i'm not one of these people that has this huge collection of these gorgeous no it's it's like just do what you're supposed to do and that's it and and be affordable i hate paying large sums of money for that particular clothing item don't know why yeah that's weird (sighs) there's a lot of things about me that's weird (laughs) <laughs> and i laughed bra, about it you got to pay a lot of money that's what I've, dolly parton said it uh, takes a lot of money to look so cheap <laughs> it wasn't a matter of trying to look cheap it was a matter of looking i know you're not trying to look slightly cheap. human-esque but her joke was you'd be amazed at the precise at the price of industrial bras these days yeah well mine's i ain't no i ain't in dolly's category that i'll tell you that but it was one of those so had the bra was missing and mm-hmm. kid had searched in the laundry that he was doing and this was before that omega had provided us with a new washing machine yes and so kid had been going down to mom's to try to do laundries and it's like so at the while of mart the only option i had basically was one of those uniboob sports bras which is nothing they're nothing it's a t-shirt under a t-shirt <laughs> But I had told Omega, I said, I'm 58 years old. I don't want to look at that. Nobody else wants to look at that. And he didn't know what else. He, he just didn't know what to say. because Oh, no, he knows what to say. He just doesn't say it in front of you. <laughs> he just doesn't say it in front of you. Well, you might as well laugh about it. Because yeah. time and gravity is no woman's friend. Yeah. That's not what he would say, but... <laughs> well, anyhow, it's, I won't even go as far as the piercing and the ratcheting system that I had developed <laughs> when I was early, you know, younger in life. Uh, it could work. Is it going to be that it episode of work. Simpsons where Homer, like, literally just pulls all the skin to the back and, 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 like, clamps it? It could work. I'm telling you, it could work. It could revolutionize the way things were done. 
Have you seen those face tapes? No. 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 You should see how those face tapes work. They're actually fascinating. No, I would say so. But anyhow, so I was elated when I looked, and there it was. And I was just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And I, I seriously, I did do that. And it, it was like, it's going to be a better day. And to get myself ready because I had to go to dentist and stuff like that. And I'm like, I told kid, I said, you must not be. And he swears he remembers picking up that article of clothing, putting it in the bag to take down to mom's to wash. Yeah. I literally checked all three bags down there for it because yeah. I know I packed it. And it wasn't in there. You had a similar situation. I though. did. We so that's more of the random bull stuff that yeah. bullshit, bullshit. It's just weird. Random bullshit. It, it's just the weird stuff that that goes on uh, in our day to day. And it was just like you know had to go to dentist to get uh, what is it twice yearly, biannually teeth cleaning. Uh -huh. They were working on their offices. They had no lobby. Everybody was sitting outside. Yes. <laughs> in the hot. No, actually, it was very cool. It was nice. Oh, it was hot in the car. That's why I had the air conditioner on. I was going to say, you could have rolled down the windows. You could have come over there and sit with Oh, the it made it worse if I rolled down the windows. That's oh, why I blasted okay. the air conditioner. And, and what was bad was porta potty Construction site. Pour to potty. Now that's just. And I told, How do you tear down the public restroom? <laughs> Why do you tear down the I public told him, restroom? I said, you know, I said, had and, and after almost an hour of waiting, and I told him, I said, it, it would have been okay if you had said, hey, we're doing construction. Can can we, you know, reschedule you for your cleaning? I would have been like, that's that's fine. Nah, construction one on one. Finish the bathroom first. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely so that was adventurous mm -hmm. and and then i finally after months was able to get my hair trimmed i have no idea this this was a lady that had never cut my hair before and she just kept cutting and cutting and then it's like you know so after i wash it then i will know what the hell i've got it doesn't look bad she didn't no, keep, it doesn't. she didn't keep cutting and cutting well just... it was just it was there that was on top it's the only thing i've got a modified mullet and have had it since the 80s because it's the only thing that you can really do with curly hair i mean honest to god there, there's not a lot and then i keep it braided to keep it under control yeah i mean there's other 80s hairstyles you could do no i've tried them I've tried them. It's still, I'm still in the hair band phase. Only it's not as high. Yeah, you don't tease it. No, I don't, I don't tease it and put the hairspray in it the way that I did back in the day. Yeah. I could, but it doesn't just, you know, I don't want to be one of those, like that lady out there in California that is like in her 60s or 70s and still dressing like she's 20. You wouldn't be doing that. You'd, no. you'd, you'd have the similar hairstyle. You can have the same hairstyle and have different clothing. She has the same she's everything. In she's in denial. She's full so on. She's horribly. it's not it's not denial. It's delusion. <laughs> and that brings us back it's to delusion. the full moon and what we what Leo King had warned about, which was people becoming delusional, and where we had to be out in the public. We saw snippets of that. And it's like, oh, shit. We did? Yeah. Yeah. Give us an example. You, you, you were experiencing somebody that was delusional. Do not allow yourself to be dragged into somebody else's delusion during this period oh, yeah, of time. that's true. That was one of the main warnings that Leo King, as far as projecting... Do not, if somebody feels the need to project, you do not have to be the target. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah. Get yourself out of the firing line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get out of the firing line. And so it was like, Netflix, if you want to do this thing as far as the uh, encounters... You could, that would be a good binge watch over the weekend. 
We're going to have our Stranger Things barring unforeseen. Not VHS Encounters. Not that one. That one's No, this that one's was weird. a new one. This was a new one. This was actually a Spielberg thing. Let me go back to where I was working on this story. I think that was called Strange Encounters or something like that. It was like a found footage film. Um, Let's see. Four-part series. Yeah, it is a Steven Spielberg produced film. No. Nah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so they've done high dollar on this. All right. So that's something, and that's just like our internet went out last night. I don't trust right night. now because of the shit that's coming out. But our internet went out again last night, uh-huh. and Kid and I slept better than we had slept in a while. Yeah, and um, we already had plans. It's like, oh, if they have finally, you know, yeeted the internet from everybody, we have DVDs. I we have, have books. Tapes. We have radio. We have all kinds of things that we're prepared. We can entertain ourselves. Literally, it's like you just... Not Monopoly. <clears throat> Monopoly can cause fights. It's just like you act like it's the fucking 80s and 90s again. Mm-hmm. And before, for mm-hmm. real. Yeah. That and crafts. That was something that... Um, to To do the crafting thing... Uh-huh. Whoever that was over the, on Bit Shoot that was a couple of uh, it's been a couple of weeks ago was like don't buy from Timu. Yeah. And I did thank them. And Kit had found out that it was a matter of that was one of those data harvest harvesting yeah, sites. Yeah. Um, so the thing we yeeted Timu. Yeah. So thank you person over there on bit shoot because mm-hmm. um timu is actually created by the same company that got into some legal trouble with another app or whatever that installed spyware or malware or both and it was like do a do or something like that was like the malware thing literally they stole people's bank information other shit that's they horrifying sold it. that's how they were getting away with like mm-hmm. losing all that money because they were selling us mm-hmm Oh, that's uh, private information has been the hottest. Like we were commodity. the product. Yeah, that's the hottest commodity on the planet right now. People, I'm and like, that includes think, their DNA, which is horrifying. Like I think the fuck not. Yeah. So it was a matter of pondering different because I do this before I start a project. A project I will ponder it for a while. Mm-hmm. To sit there and go, hmm, I could do this, or I could do this, or I could make this work. I have this material. And it's like, you can do some incredible things with paper mache. You can. But it's a matter of finding some kind of paint or something to make it weather resistant. And there's got to be something out there. Latex. It would have I, to be I'm like allergic a... to latex. Don't touch it. Well... <laughs> I'm going to be work if I'm working with it, I'm working with it. You paint it on as like a final layer. It's like, that's basically what, um, well. I need something that I could just basically I'm trying to spray. Think what, I'm trying to think what Mod Podge is. I think that is like a form of layer. No, I think it's water soluble. So you don't want a water soluble something. So, but I haven't researched it, but these are just I think if you mix it, it's water soluble, but when it dries down, water bounces off of it. Maybe. I don't, I don't know that We could get some fact. of that Flexi Seal shit, but that stuff's like $100 a can. I think I there's, think I, not. I think we're thinking, we're, we're, we're overthinking yeah, we it. Yeah, we just don't know the fucking product <laughs> that's out there. We're just overthinking it. But I thought, you know what? We could make us an alien and have it peeping around the house. Yeah, just get some spray foam. Well, no, I'm like sculpt said, it with that spray head, foam. Well, as far as a balloon and paper mache, nah, that if I'm, would work well. Nah, if I'm if I'm gonna make an alien, I want it to last forever. Well, honey, you make your alien the way that you want to make your alien, and I will make my alien the way that I'm gonna make mine. Okay. Mm. Okay. But I think he's thrown away all the newspapers. I you I more I probably <laughs> use them for fire. When I was trying to start the fires last winter, yeah, I probably used them all. Oh. I, actually, I know I used them all. 
So we will have to see if we can find that. And as far as Scarecrow. Yeah, Scarecrow. That's like top priority project. That is. Scarecrow. That is a top priority project. And it's a matter Scarecrow. of to take a trash bag and fill it with shopping bags and that will be water resistant. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a matter of... Uh, and I actually had come up with something as far as to the head... To put the burlap over, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to remember what I had come up with at that point. Mannequin head. Mannequin head, yeah. That or something else that we can we can find. I had thought of one of those cheap bouncy balls, but that loses um, it loses air over time. But and also, it doesn't give smaller. shape. You just got round. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with round. There's what? nothing wrong with round. Basketball head. Charlie Brown? Are you kidding? I love Charlie Brown. Do you remember Hey Arnold football head? <laughs> uh, so it has been random days. So that and that, uh, honestly, at this point, after watching uh, the the one chick do French her French lady, yeah. And, and the, the way that she was doing some of these things was, I'm like, my God, she is making this in the most cumbersome, hardest way humanly possible. But she was figuring it out as she went. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I ponder before I do, because if I ponder and I catch an error, then it's easier to correct than if I've already done the shit and then having to get the seam ripper out. She didn't have to do that. Yeah. So all kinds of stuff. I did watch someone this morning make a bad version of an ugly doll. If it was ugly, that wouldn't... As long as it was ugly. It was poorly made. Okay. That's my issue. It was poorly made. You're talking about the actual... Brand ugly. Trademarked, trademarked ugly ugly doll. doll. Yeah. Okay. You know, the one that we got from uh, Ollie's or whatever. I got one that looks like a blue bat. Oh, okay. As as opposed to the, what was it, the Fuglies? The Fugglers. Yeah, you got a Fuggler. God, I love those. I love those. They actually originally, like, I don't think they were made by Hasbro originally. And then they got a deal with Hasbro, just like how Fugglers Uh got a deal with Hasbro. And so Fugglers are back. Are they really? They are. Ooh. I'm interested in that. I'll have to look and see some of those little mm-hmm. guys. i wait for when they go on discount. Now, the ugly dolls, there's a difference between the ugly doll movie yes, dolls. They were, they were more terry cloth type texture. Yeah, it's fuzzy. Uh, the ugly dolls, they're more... It, it also depends on which version of the ugly dolls that you get. Because the ugly doll movie dolls look completely different than the actual ugly dolls. Like, they look similar, but they're more polished which ain't the point of a damn ugly doll exactly exactly i mean that's the whole thing about it is for it to look rough it's (sighs) it's to look like an ugly doll it's a yeah go out and you could anybody can make an ugly doll that can be anybody's mission accomplished on a lot of this stuff but yeah, we're we're making plans for but, our weekend. I mean, like, if it was done right, what she did, it could have looked really good. Her problem was she didn't stuff it enough. That's the only issue. She didn't stuff it enough, and she didn't put stitching around the eye. Okay. That was my issue. Other okay. than that, it was fine. Well, you know, that's... I, I don't know. But it's with the half-stuffed things... Did she run out of batting or no, something? No, she just didn't stuff it worth shit. Okay. Well, maybe she'll figure it out. Maybe she can easily restuff. Artist is not equal toy maker. That's true. That is very, very true. A toy maker is, a, is an art of its own. It can be. It can be. That was one thing about being jack of all trades. Yeah. Yeah. I like being an artist, but I also like being a toy maker. <clears throat> mm hmm. You do crafts as well as just art. Yeah. 
So it's been an interesting day. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you got the, the Netflix thing that you can do. We're planning on this weekend another binge watch of season three of Stranger Things. Yes. Yes. Season three uh-huh. is going to be awesome. Uh-huh. Season four is going to be awesome. Waiting on season five. Is season five already? I don't know. I think that I think they finally settled whatever that actor strike, writer strike. Did they? Whoever it was, nobody cared really. Oh no, the people involved that were working, they cared because they were well, getting yeah, shafted. Well, yeah, they cared, but but you know, us normies, we we don't got any involvement in that, so no. we have no idea. No. But these actors that, that with their overinflated egos and stuff on that, yeah, some some people actor, are like, it's not just the actors. It's the, like even some producers were producers were striking, mm-hmm. writers were striking, mm-hmm. and know, you know what? It gave people crew. an opportunity to find other ways to amuse themselves. It did, and this is the wonderful thing about you've got all these independent filmmakers. Um, I was trying to think of that. But it also gave those companies a big chance to make a lot of shit with AI. And I've seen that shit. On, I've seen that shit uh-huh. on ads. Oh, yeah. Like uh, AI created ads, basically. There's all kinds of. 3D I know that rendered there's AI a made ads. YouTube channel that's called Dust. Uh-huh. D-U-S-T. That they have these independent short films. Some of them are amazing. You got CGI and stuff like that. So Hollywood, their days may be numbered as is. And especially over the past several years where you've had so many of them come out and instead of them remaining silent about certain things. Mm-hmm. Oh no, a lot of them the are just The smart thing is don't it. get involved. Don't get political when you are high profile, whatever. Keep Yes, you have a right to opinion. Keep your mouth shut to the public where it can't come back and bite you in the ass. Unless your opinion is all politicians are greedy. Then that's that's universal. Everybody you agrees know, with they that. Don't even, it's like old school celebrities and stuff, they didn't. They just didn't. Well, they weren't really allowed to. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the reason we there's still that mystique about those those older actors. Some of these other ones have left nothing to the imagination, and it's just like, yeah, I'm done. Except for Marilyn. Mar- Marilyn was very outspoken. Mm, yeah. Her and a few others were very outspoken, though. Yeah. And that's sort of why they were targeted back in the day. Well, you know. Especially the, her. Well, the whole thing... She, she was having an affair with the president. Well, it was more than that. She found she got too deep into some shit, and so they offed her. Well, yeah, that seems to happen as far as that's. But it's the constant. But what's horrible is the constant like mistreatment of her still that they do. Well, yeah, yeah. Whatever his name, Hugh Hefner, he was buried right on top of her. <laughs> disgusting that was against her wishes she wasn't even supposed to be buried there she was oh, like in her will she God. wasn't supposed to be buried where he she was buried was the epitome of the dirty old man but all these he wanted other to be buried people on top not only on top of her but facing her all these people and and it's something with this me too bullshit now being female let me tell you something Women are not that damn stupid, and not all of them are that damn gullible. There is the term gold digger Uh that has somehow been forgotten over the past several years. Mm -hmm. So, Oh, that's not been forgotten. Trust that's not been forgotten. Yeah, but they don't want to. See, that's that's the dark side of my half of the species. People like that term gold digger now, though. Well. It's you and it's like you you like that you like the idea of someone being a gold digger you like being a gold digger. Well, I I don't know. It Ethics. doesn't make sense to me. I, it doesn't make sense to me either. Because at the end of the life, and even as far as all right, we're talking about Marilyn. Marilyn is tragic, mm-hmm. but she was, and no that's gold part of her legacy. Hugh Hefner, 
a dirty old man. That's his legacy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you know. But just random. So we decided to just go with the random and the full moon rants and everything else. Speaking of Marilyn, the only house that she ever owned, like actually owned, someone bought it and then planned to destroy it. Why they would they planned, do that? Don't know. But literally there was a whole thing about it. Like, and government of California had to intervene and be like, no, this is a, a historical site. Right. This cannot be demolished. I don't know. It's just weird. Well, they're destroying a lot of history, you know, and then some of the history that's, that's these else. archaeological finds from thousands of years ago. I'm apparently on a Maryland streak right now. You are. But, but she was a lover of history and she valued history. Right. And so anything that skewed it, she hated. Yeah. And as well, she should have. Mm-hmm. But you've got these people that's rewriting history, which is horrifying. You can't rewrite history. Well, it's, then you end up living a lie. Exactly. And that's part of what, when Palmer talked about that shattered reality, my God, now that was money well spent when I listened to him talk about that because we have, we are living through the shattered reality, which it was not, was it reality or was it illusion? Probably delusion. shattered illusion. Delusion. Well, right now it is. There is a lot of delusion. I think that's what we've been living in is a season of delusion for the past three, four years. Some people, some people more, more than, than others. Than no. It, God love her. Angeline has been living in that delusion since the eighties. Yeah. yeah. And that they will fight. That's not you, even her real name. They will fight you to stay in that delusion. She gets angry. Of course she does. She gets like mega pissed off whenever somebody brings up like, like the, the one actual photo of her, like mm -hmm. when she was, a, I think her yearbook photo, she's like, no, that's not me. So she has totally lost the plot and any concept of reality. Hasn't she? A full on delusion living that lie. Yeah. yeah. She has convinced herself of her own bullshit. Uh huh. That's frightening. Yeah. That's frightening. Selling 500 t-shirts for 500 bucks a piece. <laughs> Are there fools that actually buy that? Yes! Damn. Yes! Right out of the trunk Damn. of her car. I'm doing it wrong. So I'm doing something wrong. She was a billboard queen. That's the only thing she was famous <laughs> for was a billboard queen. Oh, and now... And you know what? These people buy a $500 because of dollar t-shirt and then after she dies, I'd say two minutes. Most people don't know who the hell she is now. Two minutes after she's dead, nobody will know or care. She was selling records. She's selling records or whatever. Uh -huh. One time she sold a record to somebody and there was nothing on it. Well, a fool 800 their bucks money. for that record and nothing was printed on it. A fool and their money are soon parted. Yeah. So, you know, anyhow, final thoughts, kid. Delusion. Convince random. yourself. Just <laughs> random. <sighs> Stay away from crazy. Don't allow other people to drag you into their delusion. And yeah, that's it. It's okay to do the random. We do it every day. And I did take my ADHD medication today. I did. Yeah. It's worse when I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, randomness, weird stuff, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream, gmail.com. It's there in the description box. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, don't forget to like share comment and most of all subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads thank you all have a good yeah yes. get you another cup of coffee yes get yourself some plans for the weekend and just be joyous this mm -hmm. is a weekend as far as celebration if the rest of the stuff if somebody wants drama in their life 
let them do that on their time. You do not have to be involved in other people's bullshit. Yeah, back you can say up into that. absolutely. You can say no. Just say no to drama, kids. <laughs> know that you are very Just loved. Say no. That and that that uh, what was that called? What the Nancy Reagan? Just say no to drugs. There. <sighs> I was so close to finishing. There's a term for that. It was campaign. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That campaign was not. It was bullshit. There was better. There was better campaigns during that time. And then was... when that shit hit, that everybody looked at that and was like, "Are y'all stupid?" It was that. That and is the had... stupidest thing to say to anyone. No, you, that is easier said than done. But it has all these years later because it, it was true. It was true. What? Just say no. Yeah. Don't do drugs. It's pretty basic. Don't do drugs. Yeah. It still failed because they did a shit job with that. Well, part of no, because people make piss poor choices in their life. I do. That's what it is. You know that you're very And loved. you're right. She does look like a bobblehead. She does look like a bobblehead. She really does. <laughs> Lord will. We'll see you on the next cup. Bye.